Panelists, let's see. I'm going to start with uh, the educator first. I'm a Congo. Uh, you get the first question for Jane Elliott. Wow. Uh, it's, it's truly an honor to, to talk to you, Ms. Elliott, for all of just the work that you've done and inspiring so many of us who do this work in diversity education. I just really want to thank you. Uh, the, the question that I have for you is, could you speak a little bit to the reverse aspect of this? Because I hear people talking about a black person playing a little mermaid, but they've had nothing to say about the over 100 white characters throughout history, actors who have played non-white people like Othello and Genghis Khan and Cleopatra. Could you speak a little bit to that hypocrisy? That, that hypocrisy is what put us where we are today. The absolute, we're absolutely determined as pale faces not to admit the truth and not to see the truth. And mm. when you walk into a room, or as, as happened with me, I was giving a speech at a college in, at the university in Texas. In the middle of my remarks, some teacher, teacher stood up and said, I just look for the person's heart. We deliberately teach people to ignore the largest organ on a person's body, inch by inch, which is their skin, skin in order to think we have to get along with them. This is so ridiculous that we are going to pretend that the Little Mermaid couldn't possibly have been anything but white. And first, it's a, it's a fairy tale, but the first modern human beings that evolved on this earth were not white. Whites came last, and we are going to go first. Make no mistake about this. Long after we so-called white people have died of melanoma or some other <coughs> problem because of the lack of melanin in our skin, all these people of color will still be there, and they'll still be productive, and they'll still be creative, and they'll still be doing wonderful things, just like they were when they, when they managed to populate every landmass on the face of the earth. People of color from countries in Africa at the equator populated, originally populated, every landmass on the face of the earth. Why are we afraid to admit that, and why aren't we teaching that? Why aren't we teaching that this, con this continent, this what we call the United States of America, this continent, was discovered by people of color between, between 200,000, no, 20,000 and 10,000 years before Columbus was a gleam in his father's eye. It's time for us to stop teaching the lie and start teaching the truth. It will make everything easier for everyone. Did I answer your question? <laughs> yes, you did. 